busy rocking around the Christmas tree with my crepe cake. Did y'all get it? Did you get we're making crepe cakes today? I'm so excited. I've never made crepe cake before. I've actually never even made crepe. But I'm sure it's going to be great because it's crepes and cake. It's actually lots of crepes and there is no cake. So, uh... But it's like a pancake. Like a crepe is like a super thin pancake kind of. So it's like a pancake cake with no cake and lots of crepes. So make your crepe cake is super simple because if you haven't noticed everything I've been making this past couple weeks has been super simple because you know the more things that are easy the more things you can make and the more things you can make the more things you can eat and we all love food especially in the holiday time even though I love food all the time so anyways let's see what we need to make this super simple treat you're gonna need milk flour eggs buttercream frosting vanilla, brown sugar, and butter. You're also gonna need red and green food coloring because you know that just gives it some holiday cheer. Now as you all notice, when I listed my ingredients, my buttercream frosting is already made because I'm using the same exact buttercream frosting that I used last week when I made peppermint truffles. Remember when I made peppermint truffles? Those were so amazing. Actually, scratch that. I mean, don't scratch the fact that the peppermint truffles were fantastic because they were, but let's scratch the buttercream because even though it's amazing and I love it, I think it'll be better with chocolate. So, all the ingredients are the same, minus the buttercream, add the chocolate, everybody's happy, let's get making some crepes. I don't think that sentence made sense. Our first step is we're gonna combine our flour and our brown sugar into a large bowl. Now that I have my large bowl, we're gonna combine. Brown sugar is always so hard to get out of the stinking bowl. Thank you, brown sugar, for cooperating. Now stir it up. Our next step is we're gonna melt our butter, which I guess really should have been our first step because we have to let it cool down. But I did not think that through, so it's gonna be our second step, but then you just have to wait a few minutes for it to cool down and it's okay for it to be your second step. You know, because everything is fine and everything is gonna work out no matter what order you put it in. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. So let's melt our butter. Now that my butter has melted and cooled down a little bit, I'm going to add it to my milk. I know what you're thinking. You're going to add butter to milk. That's going to make buttermilk. Well, that is going to make buttermilk. Wow, science. Anyways, yes, I am going to add my butter to my milk because we're going to combine them together and then we're going to pour them into our flour sugar wheel. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, Flannery, you're doing a lot of weird things. I know. Butter, meat, milk. Now we're gonna take half of our buttermilk mixture and add it into our wheel. Here we go! Now that I have mixed up half of my buttermilk and my flour sugar mixture a little bit, we're gonna add in our eggs and our vanilla and keep on stirring it up. Here we go, egg number one. Vanilla. Now, let's stir it up. Also, y'all, I added in the rest of my butter milk mixture and I forgot to record it. Christmas brain is like a real thing. Right? Is that a thing? Or did I just make that up? Um, we're going to say it's a thing because I forgot to record it and so we're going to blame it on Christmas brain. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Now we're going to split our crepe batter into two, add our food coloring, and make this crepe cake a reality. Let's get to it! Is they about half? Oh, it's dripping! Oh, I'll just go like this. 
perfect. That may have been a lot. Let's see. Wow, look at these colors. Now we're gonna head to the stove. Green, we're gonna do you first. Well, uh, I'm gonna be the first to admit these are not look perfect. Not even close, not even a smidgen. Like, did you see my green ones? Like, what kind of shape is that? Like, what the heck is happening? My red ones came out a lot better because I did them second, so practice makes perfect. We learned something today. Even though I have known that for a long time, but I was reassured. Um, anyways, we're gonna assemble and hope for the best. Alrighty y'all, I've melted my chocolate with my little elf spoon. It's my little helper. And now we're gonna assemble. And assembling is super easy. You take a crepe, put some filling. Take a crepe, put some filling. Fill it up, steak, steak, steak. Crepe cake is complete. Let's do it. First we're gonna start with our red crepe. This one's kind of tiny, so we're not gonna do that one. Let's do a bigger one. This one looks good. We'll do red crepe and some chocolate. And you could spread it with the back of your spoon, or you could spread it with a knife, or if you have an offset spatula, there's also an option. I do not have that, so it's not an option for me, but it could be an option for you. And we don't want this guy. Like, what the heck is this? Is this Discovery Channel? No, it's not. What the heck are these little things? You can stay over there. Sorry, guy. Sorry, guy. We're gonna take this one instead. Yo, how beautiful is this crepe cake and I made it into a Christmas tree? How clever! Oh my gosh, cookie cutters are like the best thing in Vienna because you can make any shape and I made Christmas tree crepe cake for Christmas time. Also, I had some extra crepe dough. So not only did I make a Christmas tree, I made candy cane and I also made a star. Oh my gosh, who even am I? For someone who's never made crepe in their life, I just made three crepe cakes. Should we eat it? Is it taste test in time? Here we go. Taste test. Oh, so excited. Y'all, that chocolate was the best decision I ever made. Chocolate is always the right choice. Always pick chocolate. Oh my gosh. I just don't know what part to eat next. I already ate the tree trunk, so I guess I'll eat a leaf. It's not a leaf, it's a branch. Oh, I dropped in. Thank y'all so much for joining me this week on Flannery Food Fridays. This week I made Crepe cakes with chocolate, which was an excellent choice. Always choose chocolate. Lesson of the day. That's not really a lesson. That's just something that we should know. Always choose chocolate. And it's the holiday season, so I hope you're all having a great holiday. And I'll see you next week. I'm going to go grab my Christmas tree and continue dancing. Bye, y'all.